Thanks for joining us here for another video from Howard Piano Industries. I'm Steve Howard and uh, we're going to be showing you today how to adjust let off on a grand piano action. Um, what you see in front of you is um, a mechanism for a, for a grand piano action. This is just a grand piano action model. Um, we have this so that you can see it a little bit easier than um, than uh, actually showing a grand whole grand piano action um, because we can see each of the individual parts um, uh, from the side view. So we're going to be showing you what um, <clears throat> we're going to be showing you what let off is, and uh, what that is is you know if you've seen um, our video on adjusting let off on a vertical piano, you know that it what it is is actually how close the hammer comes to the string before it releases okay and um, you can see the whole action mechanism and how that works here in front of you in, in this action model and so what uh, what the goal is is you want as the hammer goes forward and what I'm doing is I'm just pushing pushing down on the key very slowly you know if you were to play you know play the note normally it would it would uh, do it quickly but um, and it would actually hit this uh, this bar right here is simulating what uh, would normally be considered the string in, in the grand piano action so um, or on a grand piano so um, what uh, what happens is as the hammer goes forward if we do it very slowly the the action or what's actually pushing up on this right this piece right here is the knuckle and this is the f um, flange I'm sorry, the, the um, shank of the hammer, um, and then down here is the jack, okay, and it's actually the jack that's pushing up on that knuckle which pushes the hammer shank up, okay, so uh, as we go forward, um, you can see that the hammer comes almost to the string before releasing, okay, so I'll do it really slowly. Okay, and you can see it drops down a little bit. That's what's called drop on uh, on the action. That's another adjustment. But uh, our concern for this video is how close we get that hammer to the string before it lets off. Okay, and that's what's called let off. Okay, and um, the thing that um, that that controls that is um, what happens is if you watch the toe of this jack. Okay, this this the end of this jack right here is going to hit this regulating button, and um, when that when that does that, it pushes the toe of the jack down and pushes the rest of the jack forward, so that the knuckle um, falls back down onto the. This is called the repetition lever. Okay, so we're going to push that down. And get that close. So we what what we want to do is um, our you know the the ideal situation is to have the hammer let off at about a sixteenth of an inch from the string. Okay, and uh, maybe in the base section it should be a little bit more, maybe five sixty fourths or um, something like that. But uh, um, but a sixteenth of an inch uh, from the from the string is where it should let off. Okay, now the purpose for that is the closer the hammer gets to the string before letting off. Okay, it gives the pianist more control in a very soft playing. Okay, because it means that the key is actually controlling most of the hammer movement up to the point um, that that it it can still travel that ex, that last sixteenth of an inch on its own. If we had it so that the hammer went all the way to the string, then it would make it so that the jack couldn't um should couldn't release and it would just it would come up and it would block against the string and it would sound awful so um so that that uh, you know so we want to get it as close as we can without it going all the way okay and and generally um the sixteenth of an inch is what uh, what is considered a good amount okay now you can use um we demonstrated in the let off video for vertical pianos our magnetic let off strip you can use that if you're regulating this inside of the piano uh, re regulating the action inside of the piano uh, what you do is you put the let off strip magnetic let off strip on the underside of the strings right where the hammers hit the hit the strings and you'd get it so that hammer just touches the let off strip and then and um, 
and uh, before it releases. So, um, so that's a good tool to use. <clears throat> now, as far as making the actual adjustment, um, you're gonna you're gonna be adjusting this um, that is let off button, which is there's this uh, on this on this action model. It's a little bit different than it is on most pianos. You may find a grand piano action that has this type of a, a let off button, but most of them have. Um, and and if you're going to do if if they do have this kind of a um, let off button, you're going to use uh, this pointed uh, capstan regulator that we sell, um, or some kind of pointed tool that can get into those holes of the of the let off button too, or the regulating button. Um, to be able to to screw that, so you're gonna if you if you turn it um, to the right, it's gonna raise it. If you turn it to if you turn it to the left, um, as you're facing it, then it's then it's gonna lower lower the button. Okay, so if uh, if you raise it, that's actually gonna make it so that the the let off occurs later, which is gonna make the hammer come closer to the string. Okay, if you lower the button um, that's going to make it so that let off occurs sooner and the hammer is not going to get as close to the string um, uh, as before let off occurs okay so we're going to let me just for example I'm going to I'm going to turn this to the left okay and that's going to lower the button and we're going to see what the difference is here I'm doing it quite a bit just for example's sake. Now, if you notice, that's that's further, and I can't even get any, my drop out of that because um, my drop drop is higher than that. So, but if we if I turn it to the right and make let off occur later, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna get to, to where I'm going almost right up to that string. Okay, as you can see, it it actually touches the string before it lets off. Okay, which is which is too close. Okay, um, so we want to get it to where um, the let off is occurring about about a sixteenth of an inch. So, okay, so I'm going to turn this. Let's see where we're at here. That's probably a little bit too close. Now you can measure it with um, with a stainless steel rule. Um, If I take my stainless steel rule, you know you can you can actually measure it, um, you know to see what uh, you know the, the, using the magnetic let off strip is a good tool to use, um, but because uh, stainless steel rule, especially when you're working with the action in the piano, it's a little bit hard to hard to see. So what what you do is you get get a feel for what a sixteenth inch looks like, you know, just by eyeing it. Um, you know, unless you're going to use that magnetic let off strip. Uh, but uh, one, once you get a feel for it, you know, you know what a 16th inch looks like, you know, just, you know, through practice, and you get to where you know what that looks like. Um, now, most um, most grand pianos have a, re a regular, a general regulating screw like this, and then on the bottom, that's going to go through a, a rail. Uh, this screw is going to go through a rail, and then at the bottom of it, it's going to be your your let off button. Okay. Now to adjust these, you're going to use you can use this same pointed capstan tool. Okay, and it, it goes inside the hole. Okay. So this is this is what I'll I'll usually use for adjusting it. Um, if I've got room, you know, sometimes these regulating so the heads of these regulating screws are right up against the top. Of this, or almost right up to the top of this, um, the the rail underneath there. So it's a little bit hard to get this uh, this tool. This is our um, uh, ratcheting, or what's what's called the let off ratchet. We've got this, but this is a nice tool to use if you've got room to get it. Um, and what it does is uh, on one side it says in, okay. And if you look at the other side, it says out, okay. So if you're going to be um, one side will turn it one way, and it's got again. It's got a ratcheting action, so you don't have to keep taking it off for every every movement. So it's a it's a nice handy tool to have. 
uh, for when you're when you're making the adjustment on the regulating screws. So basically, um, you know, you want to get that to that that let off so that it's um, within about a sixteenth inch, a little bit more in the base section um, before it lets off. Okay, and this is one of the one of the um, major uh, or the main. Uh, regulating adjustments that you do on a grand piano. There are many other uh, steps as far into the regulation process which we'll go over in other videos um, but uh, this is to help you understand this particular step. Feel free to let us know if you have any questions. Um, our website is howardpianoindustries.com